Recently, 24 first-year medical students from the University of Toronto had the unique opportunity to shadow a physician for a day. The students are enrolled in ASCM, or the Arts and Sciences of Clinical Medicine. Let's see how the day went. But there was definitely a warning sign, right? Yes. That's important. It's called a prodrome, okay? Whenever you hear a prodrome, there's a warning for loss of consciousness. It makes it a little less serious, okay? We'll talk about different reasons why that could happen. This is one of their first exposures to clinical medicine in action. And so today we give them an opportunity to follow a doctor in the course of his clinical activities. And uh, we allow them to experience uh, what happens in a typical day of a doctor's life and to ask questions about what it means to be a physician, uh, how a person will incorporate that into their life. And uh, so it's a great opportunity for the students and a great opportunity for the students to get to know Credit Valley Hospital better. So how do you prepare for your day today? Do you know you're coming to work with ophthalmology? I'm here with Dr. Ahmed, who's an ophthalmologist, and I'm observing various uh, eye surgery uh, procedures. And uh, this type of exposure is really great. It's a fascinating field. It's a field that most med students don't get exposed to until later on. In fact, some medical schools don't even expose it to ophthalmology. Dr. Ahmed was recently the recipient of an award as one of the top physicians uh, under 40 in Canada, one of the top people under 40 in Canada. So we're very proud of what he has to offer to our community in terms of ophthalmology skills. So the lens is put in, in a certain area called a capsular bag, because our natural human lens sits in this very clear silicon-like bag surrounded by these ligaments that hold it in place. And we're in opening here. Seeing uh, the, the delicate procedures in the eyeball and the, the lenses and everything, it's, it's been really fascinating and of course you're working in such a small space and very delicate, so I don't know, it's, uh, it's quite impressive. Our emergency department at the Credit Valley Hospital has a number of trainees at different levels, medical students, residents, and so today Dr. Epstein was able to host one of our students. It's a great pleasure to have uh, a keen, interested um, medical student like Jay who is uh, has a keen sense of wanting to be a doctor and wanting to learn and, um, and shadowing me and, and asking um, very, very valid and, and reasonable questions. Uh, it's, it's good. Uh, just um, having, you know, this is sort of the, been two months in the medical school and we've learned about the sort of uh, the chest, chest anatomy, chest physiology. And today I, got, I had a chance to sort of see, you know, the applications of, of the of the clinical work into the actual physiology and, and helping me understand sort of what, what I'm actually seeing in class. So, you know, we're here we are reading about it in textbooks. You know, for the one day that I'm here, I, I get to actually see it, see it being applied. So our job is to determine when patients have syncope, loss of consciousness, whether it's something serious going on or whether it's something benign. They're getting a sense of what uh, working in a hospital is all about because right now they're just in their introductory year, their first year and they're just starting to learn about some of the, you know, basic science of, of medicine. Yeah. Have you had sinus infections in the past? Yeah. Dr. Jean Hudson is one of our uh, clinical teachers at the Credit Valley Hospital. She's one of the teachers for their Arts and Sciences of Clinical Medicine course. And there, it's, it's harder to see her drum in that one. Oh, yeah. I'm spending a whole day here to see what it's like to be a doctor because I think a lot of us first-year med students, we want to be doctors, but we don't really know what it's like to, to spend a whole day pr uh, as a doctor. So just take we hope that the medical students will be encouraged in their learning journey. That your first year in medical school can be uh, quite difficult and sometimes it's hard to appreciate how the things that you're learning will fit in and provide a foundation for your future career. And this opportunity to spend a day shadowing a doctor helps students to recognize how the things that they're learning in anatomy and physiology and biochemistry will all fit in to their future career. And uh, we have many things that many members of our staff will be able to teach uh, these new learners and so that they can provide the medical care that our community needs in the future.